We have already completed no bias condition of p-n junction diode. In this lecture, we will discuss forward bias condition of p-n junction diode. Under no bias condition, we do not apply any external voltage source across these two terminals. So this is the case of no bias condition. And let's say, and let's say the width of depletion layer, width of depletion layer is W subscript D, and this is the junction. This is the junction. and we have diffusion current from left to right we have diffusion current from left to right and i will call it i majority and we have reverse saturation current from right to left this is i subscript s and reverse saturation current is due to the minority charge carriers now in forward bias condition we connect positive terminal of the battery to the p side and we connect negative terminal of the battery to the n side of the pn junction diode so i will do this quickly i will do this quickly this is the positive terminal of the battery and this is the negative terminal of the battery and i will connect the positive terminal to the p side of the pn junction diode and i will connect negative terminal to the n side of the pn junction diode now because of this because of this the holes on p side will be repelled because holes are positively charged and we have holes as majority charge carriers on p side this positive terminal of the battery will repel the holes towards the depletion layer and in the same way negative terminal of the battery will repel the electrons towards the depletion layer because electrons are negatively charged thus we can say that the forward bias potential vd the forward bias potential vd will pressure the electrons on n side and holes on p side to recombine with the ions near the boundary and reduce the width of depletion region so the width of depletion region will reduce because the holes will combine with the negative ions and electrons will recombine with the positive ions so we have we have holes recombined with the negative ions and we have electrons we have electrons combined with the positive ions and as you already know in depletion layer we do not have mobile charge carriers but we have immobile ions so the width of depletion layer will reduce and we have a new depletion region and let's say the width is the width is this is the new width and i will call it wd prime so we have new width equal to wd prime and if i compare it with no bias condition then vd was equal to 0 and the width of depletion region was w subscript d and when vd is greater than 0 it means it is positive the new width is wd prime and if we compare wd and wd prime we will find wd is greater than wd prime so we can say that on increasing on increasing the bias potential the width of depletion layer will reduce this is very important point on increasing the bias potential the width of depletion region will reduce and in this case we have diode current id because circuit is complete and we have current id and if you want to calculate id then id is equal to id is equal to i majority minus i saturation where i majority is the diffusion current because of majority charge carriers and is is the reverse saturation current because of minority charge carriers now what about reverse saturation current what will be the effect on reverse saturation current because of the forward bias potential if you remember in the first lecture i told you the number of minority charge carriers depends only on temperature if temperature increases minority 
carriers will also increase so if temperature is same the number of minority charge carriers will also remain same so we can say that the reverse saturation current will remain will remain the same because temperature is not changing and it only depends on the minority charge carriers but there is change in diffusion current the depletion layer is reducing because of the applied forward potential and the electrons on n side will see will see a reduced depletion layer and also it will be attracted towards the applied positive potential on the p side so there are two things happening the first thing is the width of depletion layer is reducing and hence we can say that the barrier potential is also reducing let me write this down width of depletion layer is reducing so the barrier potential the barrier potential is also reducing and let's say initially initially the barrier potential was vb so the new barrier potential the new barrier potential is equal to vb minus vd where vd is the applied forward bias voltage so the new barrier potential is vb minus vd and in case of silicon in case of silicon vb is equal to 0.7 volts we calculated this in the last to last presentation the barrier potential for silicon is equal to 0.7 volts and if i make vd equals to 0.7 volts then the new new barrier potential is equal to 0.7 minus 0.7 and this is equal to 0 volts so the barrier potential is decreasing with increase in the forward bias voltage and an electron on n side now sees a reduced barrier at the junction and a strong attraction and a strong attraction for the positive potential applied to the p side as the magnitude of the applied voltage increases the width of depletion layer continue to decrease until a flood of electrons can pass through the junction and because of this there is an exponential rise in diode current id now i will quickly revise all the points the first thing in forward bias condition is the connection the positive terminal of the battery or voltage source is connected to the p side and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the n side positive terminal of the battery will repel the holes towards the depletion region and negative terminal of the battery will repel the electrons towards the depletion region there is recombination of immobile ions and mobile charge carriers and because of this width of depletion layer will reduce and also the barrier potential once the barrier potential is equal to zero the flood of electrons will pass through the junction and the current rises exponentially and also there is one important thing regarding the reverse saturation current the reverse saturation current remains the same because the minority charge carriers only depends on temperature all these points will be helpful when we draw the vi characteristics or volt ampere characteristics of pn junction diode we will use the knowledge from this lecture to plot the vi characteristics in forward bias condition and in the next lecture we will discuss reverse bias condition of pn junction diode so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one